so this one, I don't know if I would bring this or not, but it is a, it's a Benjamin Sheraton air pistol. I have shot birds with this thing. You can take down, if you wanted to shoot a dove or whatever, you could, you could get, you could hunt with this. And the other thing is, is the ammo for it is extremely light, very quiet. So if you're trying to remain inconspicuous, an air gun might be what you want to do. You're not going to be taking any big game down with it, but small, small birds, absolutely. And let's see here. I think we've gone through most everything except for how are we going to carry all of this junk? The deer rack, deer hauler, whatever they're called. I had the idea. I was like, you know what? If we're going to ever have to carry this stuff through any kind of situation, you know, this would be ideal for, you know, during the Great Depression when everybody was carrying their carts from, you know, out from the city going out to the country and trying to get jobs. This is what you want right here. And most everything we have, everything of weight would fit in this right here with the straps. And I have gotten everything on here. The only thing I have not done is we have five Trekker sleeping bags, which you can see a picture right here. It's not very exciting, but these I picked up at Cabela's for $50 a piece. And we bought five of them, zero degree, the rectangular sleeping bags, which they take up the normal size of a sleeping bag when it's rolled up. So, mountain of sleeping bags. But we can also carry some of the stuff on our back. We have a couple decent backpacks that we can strap things on and carry things. But the, bulk, the bulky stuff, the stoves, all that stuff, guns, firearms, would be stuck on that deer hauler. One other thing, if any of you people are looking for good boxes to put survival gear in, this thing is really dirty because I just pulled it out of my garage, but I saved my DeWalt boxes that I had drills and, and this one was a sawzall, a spaghetti saw. You just cut these things out, take some needle nose pliers, take a Dremel tool, you just, you just hack this stuff right out. I have four boxes, three or four boxes like this, they're a little bit smaller that I had my sanders in and I, I just put all my stuff right in a bin, a tub like one of those tubs right over there. So that's what I keep my tools in because I beat, beat the heck out of them anyways. These things don't really protect them. And, and I put all my ammo, or a lot of my ammo, in some of those boxes. And it, they're rugged, they're meant to hold a lot of, not a lot of weight, but enough weight. So I think what I'm going to do is take a couple of these boxes and fit them so I can put a lot of my electronic and different things that you see here. One more thing on self-defense. Buy one before they come illegal. Stun guns. Don't know why you'd have to have a stun gun if you're out in the middle of the woods or wherever, but they're nice to have. Go get that deer somehow, right? <laughs> and our little shovel. This is not useless, but borderline useless. I would actually bring a full-out spade with me. Because if I need to dig, I want to be able to dig. And this thing is not going to dig. This might dig a hole for a post, but I would actually put a spade, one of our spades on here to take. So I think that is it. That is, in a nutshell, what we have for our survival bug out gear. We have a lot more, but this is more of what we would take as a family. So thank you for watching, and I'll catch you next time on American Family Now.